Now, I'm no physical doctor, and I'm not here to talk about any type of physical diseases or how they can heal in any type of way. I am just here to convey how the mind aids in causing these things to happen and what you can do with your mind in order to alleviate any type of symptoms along with it. So with that being said, let's look at anxiety. And the mental cause of anxiety is scattered attention, primarily uh, your attention being scattered, going about, zipping about in the future. And now with your attention scattered and having no control over that, it's just zipping about from all these different probable possibilities within the future. And of course, it's not any positive or productive thoughts or images that you're placing your attention upon. It's always some sort of unwanted, dreadful, or um, disastrous thought that you are placing your attention on. Um, uh, unwanted possibility of something that may possibly occur uh, in, in the future. It's not presently existing within the present. And so the anxiety is is built up because your attention is on the numerous amounts of possible things that could go wrong and you're constantly moving from one thing to another this 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 what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens oh my god and then and this is either done being done consciously and sometimes it is unconscious that you're doing this but you're still feeling the results of, of it occurring within your physical body your nerves are creating a reaction in your body to where you're feeling it and that's when you're feeling the anxiety and now through building up and developing a level of concentration which is your ability to control your attention you are positioning yourself to be able to consciously and immediately within the experience remove your attention from where it doesn't need to be and place it on where it needs to be and whether in the present moment or on what you do want to occur and so if anxiety is being caused by your attention being scattered all about, then by leveling up your concentration, you are able to stop it, place it where you want it to be, and hold it there and maintain it. And that's through the level of willpower that you increase. You'll be able to hold it there. That way it's not zipping about from place to place, scattering among different things that could possibly happen. Like um, I used to get, I, my, one of the biggest ang anxiety things that used to occur is when I was driving. I would be sitting there driving and, you know, especially if I'm going past a semi truck and it has like, it's not just like a regular encased semi truck, it's a semi truck that's like strapped down. And my, my, I'll get really anxious because my attention will go to, you know, what if that strap breaks? You know, what if it wasn't buckled right? What if this semi truck driver falls asleep? What if something this happens? What if this happens? You know, um, the image of uh, um, what was it? Final Destination <laughs> comes to mind. Like especially when I see the logs, I'm like, oh shit. And so it, that used to happen. And then, but then I was as I built up a level of concentration, I would then stop, take a deep breath. <sighs> remove my attention from all of those different things, different possible outcomes and pro that, that, that are in the future and not even occurring, and then place it on what I do want. And so I would image myself at my destination, getting out of my car, happy and alleviated that I'm on time and right where I need to be fully whole and healthy. And it, I mean, it, it would work every time because, you know, one, it would work as in I got there and would have that experience, but also it would work because the anxiety would alleviate and I would move forward. And so once you're able to develop that level of concentration, then you're able to place your attention on, on that one single thing um, that you do want instead of allowing it to be scattered all over the place. Because at first I would try it and I would, I would try that and then it would immediately still go back to these other things. But as my concentration got stronger, then it would be able to place it there and hold it there and maintain it to where then the emotion would then dissipate the longer that I held my attention on what I did want to occur. Now, I have videos out and more videos to come going over attention and concentration and willpower and what those are and how to build them up. But the bottom line is, however you do it, however you go about it, you have to be the one to do the work. You have to increase your level of concentration. And remember, concentration is a mental muscle. It is a muscle of the mind. And so just like a personal trainer can only guide you on how to develop stronger muscles, you know, I can only guide you and show you the way and show you the steps on how to produce these things, but you still have to do the work. You have to do the exercises, and just like physical muscles, the more you exercise it, the faster you'll receive, produce results. So that's why in the 20 day course, we have to do this exercise every single day, because then you will, if you do it every single day, then you'll produce seven times the amount of results that you would if you did it once a week. But actually it'll produce even more than that because the growth in the mental is, is exponential. So when you do it 28 days in a row versus 
four times in those 28 days once a week, you're getting more than seven times the amount. It's more you know, along the lines of 100 times the amount of strength in which your concentration will develop. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you don't like the video, click the unlike button. If you really like the video and want to check out more, check, click the subscribe button, and then you can kind of be on pace when the new videos come out. And with that, as always, I leave you in peace.